bum 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 the peter dislike show bum 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 so zinc has been my new favorite metal as of late not because i necessarily want to hold on to it long term but it's inexpensive and it pours a lot of things the only thing it doesn't do is you can't really pour it into silicone uh, at, at least not very easily it, it, it turns out that um, it will hold up for one or two pours of zinc usually i try to use, do it at the end of its good shelf life anyway when it's not going to pour anything good anyhow i hate to destroy silicone molds just for one or two uh, zinc ones so these guys actually were poured into silicone it also has a tendency to oxidize the zinc because silicone is pretty good at absorbing uh, moisture and at its melting point zinc will actually react with water to make zinc oxides I'm gonna have to see if I can potentially uh, uh, do some electrolysis to kind of clean it up a little but I suspect you could uh, I'll play with that at some point but it's really inexpensive um, each of these Buddhas takes about 50, uh, 60 or so uh, pennies uh, to, to make and um, as I'm doing that I also get a chance to uh, pull out a bunch of um, copper pennies. I hope to melt copper at some point as well. I have not had good luck with that. It melts at a significantly higher melting point than zinc and um, it's uh, very difficult to pour obviously and even graphite will succumb to that uh, after enough pours all, all of these buddhas i poured with just two molds and it looks like i could get a lot more out of them i could probably get thousands and thousands of zinc buddhas before i have to replace any of those molds right uh, similarly the tree of life uh, what i really like about these is that they stack really well um, I hope to eventually pour a very large bar of zinc, right, on par with um, like a like a thousand ounce silver bar kind of size, right. I don't know why. Ever since ever since I acquired my first thousand ounce silver bar, this was ten years ago now. I've been fascinated by big bars of stuff. I have um, two uh, 50 pound bars of bismuth intact. Usually when I order a bar like that, they come all broken up, right? And uh, But two times I got entire solid bars and I decided to keep them as they are. Uh, just because they look really nice. Uh, the difficulty with turning pennies into a big zinc bar is that when you melt it, it makes a lot of slag. To give you an idea, every hundred or so dollar face value of zinc pennies I melt, I end up with this much slag. I want to say I want to say I pull out one I pull one out every hundred face value of zinc pennies from the copper jackets on them and also the oxides of them um, I managed to sell one of these at an art show so I'm just gonna hold on to them for now unfortunately I don't know a good way to melt that stuff I thought it might have been mostly copper and my furnace goes up to 1150 Celsius so I heated it up to 1150 celsius and none of that budged so it makes me wonder what it is right it obviously isn't zinc anymore because zinc boils at that temperature right so it's either some kind of it's either copper or an oxide of either copper or zinc right or some combination of the two right and so um, so it, do, it doesn't really budge for, for some reason um i also thought about um a carbo uh, thermal reduction of um because with bismuth you can do carbothermal reduction uh, on bismuth slag it, it makes bismuth metal and then a carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide right but i tried it on that and it made this really unusual smelling gas and it made me very dizzy so i got i got very i, got, I had good ventilation and all that i knew it wasn't carbon monoxide because it smelled very strongly i suspect it might have been hydrogen cyanide even it, it might have been nitrides that were being uh, reduced by the uh, the carbon. I have good ventilation. I'm not terribly concerned about poisoning. Uh, it's just weird, the chemistry of this stuff. But what I might do is start out small, right? 
um, start melting pennies into small ingots like that. And when I have enough of these, then melt those to make the large ingots. That way I pull out all the slag involved in the first place, right? So one, uh, one time I accidentally included a, apparently a copper penny amongst the zinc and it made this. It's really interesting, almost like, a, like an ancient coin dug out of the ground, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show! Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show! Bum, 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 bum.